Hey everybody, it's Jeff again. Um, it's been a while since I posted a video uh, about my progress with AS and uh, figured why not do it tonight. Um, my progress so far has been pretty slow. I am on, I don't know if you can really see in here, the pens. Those are the Humira pens. Sharps container, I just did my fifth injection uh, last night. And um, so far, uh, not much. Not much has changed. Um, I mean, it's staying the same, so I, I, it's not getting any worse. Um, still with the bad neck pain. Um, and my foot just stays swollen um, all the time. Uh, and that gets worse. That's one thing I can say that actually does has gotten worse. Especially if I try to do anything. And by me do anything, that's if I am fortunate enough to go to the store that day. Or uh, Thanksgiving, I drove to my mom's. Which is about a 40-minute drive. And, and that was pretty tough. Uh, pain levels are still about the same. Um, there's really not much to uh, to go on on that point. Um, as far as the Humira injections, um, if you're kind of new to it, it's going to hurt you at first, but you do get used to it. And... Um, I'm sorry, my computer keeps buzzing. So anyway, uh, and one thing I have noticed, and I've only seen, I think, maybe one other person comment on this, and that was um, dental problems. Um, I've started having that a lot, and I hear that may be from AS, uh, there's another thing that I may be diagnosed with uh, next week. I'm not sure, so I'm going to hold off on worrying about that or doing anything with it. Um, but yeah, dental problems. Um, and I guess it's been three months I've had two root canals, and I haven't had to have an extraction with a bone graft put in. Uh, which was absolutely awful. Uh, stitches are still in my mouth. Um, that really sucks. <laughs> so, um, But I don't think that's the case for everybody. I'm not trying to scare anybody. And Look, maybe Humira just needs more time, but it doesn't seem to be doing very much for me. Um, and if you've seen any of my other videos, you'll see that I've had problems with uh, I had problems with short-term disability that got resolved I was able to get that for a little bit and then it's been about two months and that's been cut off and I've been trying to go on long-term disability um, and they had to start all over again which has led to the same old problems uh, trying to get medical forms from doctors and doctors to sign this and medical records and you deal with the big hospital facility in southeast Louisiana uh, it's kinda run by one major hospital with branches all over pretty much all over the state and it is an absolute chore to get anybody who knows what they're talking about on the phone. Um, and this is not the hospital I worked for or anything like that. Um, and, and so it's been tough. Uh, financial pressures, I mean, unbelievable. Um, all the other stuff that kind of go along with the disease. Uh, you know, people not understanding, you know, just saying, oh, just go back to work. Yeah, well, I, you know, can't stand up for more than five minutes. So going to be a problem. Um, but really, that's where I'm at. Um, my next doctor's appointment is a week from today. 
so we'll see where we're at um, if I need to change medicines or just give this one more time I don't know um, you know but like I said Humira may work for some people it doesn't seem to be doing very much for me um, uh, I'm looking at maybe neck surgery would be possible no, I'm not quite sure on that. Uh, it's having your neck all fused together and the disease fuses your bones anyway. So I'm like, well, why don't we just <laughs> let it take its course? But kind of that's where I'm at. The newest things have been uh, dental problems. Um, no improvement. Uh, everything's pretty much the same. And that's kind of a sad but true state of affairs. Uh, you know, financial wise, it's tough. You're not gonna, nobody's prepared for something like this. It's just, you can't. Now, how do you know? Um, so it's just, it's, it's, it's humbling. It's tough. It's upsetting. You know, I've had a very good friend of mine that I've been talking to every day, and they help a, a lot. And, uh, so I want to say thank you to her, and uh, and really that's about all I got for this update. Uh, thank you for all the comments and all the well wishes, um, and I can't reiterate this enough. And just because Humira doesn't seem to be working for me, doesn't mean it's not going to work for you. It very well could. Uh, but so far, I mean, we're five shots in. I don't see it. Not yet. So, um, but yeah, the biggest thing, uh, the, the dental issues, the foot swelling, the pain, uh, neck pain, like you wouldn't believe, back pain sometimes. And there you can see my cat. Oh, no, she's actually uh, over there. She is. Hey. That's Naven. <laughs> and um, so yeah those are the the big things um, at different times different joints hurt sometimes it's my hip sometimes it's my knee all the time foot uh, the dactylitis or whatever it is getting your toes it just feels like all the toes on your foot are broken so when you try to walk I mean, just imagine if all the toes on your feet were broken and you try to walk. It's not going to be pleasant. It's very painful. Um, and it's hard for me to, it's hard for me to drive. It's hard for me to go to the store. Um, I tried to go to Walmart the other day. And I, I really don't like Walmart. But anyway, that's all I have around here pretty much. And I can make it maybe halfway through the store, get through the checkout line, and uh, that's about, that's really about it. And actually, funny story, uh, I was at Walmart, I was waiting to get a prescription, and I go, I stand in line, and all of a sudden this woman comes up in her motorized cart and just rams into me. She says, you cut me in line. I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? She's like, well, if I did, I'm sorry, I didn't see you. So, yeah, anyway, and of course she hit the foot that hurts like all hell. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, older woman, just bam. I'm like, wow. So, uh, people, uh, I don't know. <laughs> they got some, some nut jobs out there. So, it's been tough. It's tough mentally. It's tough emotionally. Um... Of course, physically, I don't have to say that. But it's the mental and emotional part that is very, very difficult. Um, all of a sudden, you're working, and one day you fall down, and all the next thing you know, you can't. You can't work. And you have to become dependent on other people. And sometimes those other people don't understand. And that's just kind of, I mean, it's sad, but that's the way it is. Um, 
but I keep on fighting, doing the best I can. Um, I was lucky to hit a sale on ramen noodles, so that's good. <laughs> Apparently, I've lost 25 pounds. I don't think anybody's going to be able to tell from this video, but uh, yeah. So that's been about it. Um, so I hope to hear some uh, something next week in terms of the other diagnosis and as well as how I'm doing with the AS and of course the, I also have rheumatoid but whatever it's just kind of if you have one throw in some more what's the difference I don't know so but that's all I got um, I wish you all the best if you got diagnosed with it like I said Humira may not work well it didn't work it's not working for me not yet but it may work for you so I don't want anybody bad mouth in Humira it's just different medicines work on different people differently and maybe it just needs more time I'm not sure so you know uh, some days it's hard to keep my head up uh, other days it's not so hard uh, but lately it's becoming harder and harder and harder and harder and harder um, I hope I can update more often um, I'm having some internet issues um, so I don't know we'll see what happens uh, doctor's appointment like I said in a week um, that's in Baton Rouge which by the way go Tigers that's the I don't care what the playoff committee says it's the number one Louisiana State University Tigers we beat Alabama. That's right. We beat Alabama for the first time in eight years. And I don't care what happens from here on out. We beat Alabama. I'm happy. This LSU fan is happy. So, hope I didn't piss off any Alabama fans. If so, oh well. So, go Tigers. Uh, I'm going to keep my head up. I'm going to try to. And I want you to keep yours up. Uh, every day is a new day. Although it seems like Groundhog Day for me these <laughs> for these past few months. Um, but for you, every day is a new day. And um, yeah, you keep on fighting. Keep on fighting. And you find out who your friends are. And you'll find out in tough times that uh, you don't really have many. So, with that, uh, I'm going to say goodbye, and um, I wish all of you the best. Thanks. And don't forget to click like, subscribe, all the YouTube stuff. So, thanks for watching.